Hey everyone, Cody here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how I'm, I made this, uh, it's like a black, white, gray, orange, and pink abstract, and part of it was made using just leftover paint. The pink is actually leftover house paint, so I mean, you can really do this with anything, and I wasn't ultimately happy with the end product, so I, I don't know if I'll sell it. I might give it away. It's It's like decent enough to give it away, but not like good enough to sell, if that makes sense. Um, you gotta have standards if you run a business, I guess. But anyway, um, so yeah, I mean, obviously I'm starting with black here just because I wanted a really dark background to scrape across. And then once it was black and the sides are painted black, then I'll kind of move on to the actual painting. So, I mean, it's really just me doing that for the next like minute or two. So I, what I wanted to start off with was asking you how your year is going. Um, honestly, I'd, I'd really like to know. So if you left a comment in the comment section, that'd be really great because I'd really love to know, you know, how your, how your year is going so far. And, you know, is, do you think that 2019 will be a better year than 2018 was? So, I mean, just to give my uh, opinion, not, I don't know if you want to hear it or not, but, uh, so far 2019 has been pretty good. Uh, 2018 wasn't a bad year, but I felt really beat up, uh, not physically, obviously, but, uh, just with a lot of things. I mean, I had a lot of financial stuff happen, a lot of health stuff happen, uh, a lot of stuff at work happened. So it was, it was really, it was really a rough year and not that every year doesn't have its challenges, but I felt like 2018 was just, just rough. It, it wasn't like super bad in one area. It was just really rough in a lot of different areas and I'm not complaining um that's just you know I just felt like it was a rough year um and so far 2019 has been looking pretty promising and I know it's still early and we're only a few weeks in but coming into this year I really stopped to think about what I wanted to accomplish this year both as an artist and a person and you know, I took some time to just kind of think about that. Like, what what is it that I want to get out of this year? And uh, and that really helped me because I was kind of in a depression about where I was at in life. Like, I wasn't accomplishing anything uh, just in general, right? Like, my life, like I just existed, but I wasn't actually doing anything meaningful with my life. And I, and I know a lot of people feel that way, but... Uh, you know, I was, I was feeling that and I felt like I was just painting for no reason. And I felt like I was going to work for no reason and that I just existed for no reason. <laughs> so, you know, that was very frustrating and I just didn't know what I wanted to do at that point. Uh, and here we're using a light gray. So just as a heads up, but anyway, um, so, so far it's been pretty good because I realized that there was stuff with, you know, my painting business that I, I guess you wouldn't even call it a business. You really just call it a hobby because I don't sell that much. But, um, you know, I realized what I wanted to do with that. Right. So I, I realized what I wanted to do kind of in the business. Oh, and this is an acrylic sheet that I got from Home Depot. Uh, it's 12 inches by 24 inches. So just as a heads up. But, uh, you know, I realized what I wanted to do as an artist um, and a person, right? So, like, as an artist, I realized that I wanted to really just kind of just make smaller paintings. I, in the beginning, I thought that I could just make all these large paintings. And uh, they were just going to sell and I was going to make a ton of money. And I found that a lot of people actually just don't even have the room for the size paintings I was doing, uh, you know, these super large paintings. And so because of that, you know, they haven't really sold. In fact, uh, you know, I've sold a few decent, like the medium sized paintings, like four foot or so, and a lot of the smaller ones. And I think that I just, my ego, I guess, 
made me think that I could just sell these large paintings uh, right off the bat without, you know, without anyone knowing me and, and charging these prices uh, that I charge. Almost like I deserved it right out of the gate, right? So that was frustrating me. Then I was having all these paintings that were stocking up in my house and I was I was frustrated because not only was I not selling the paintings, but I just felt lost like in in my identity as an artist, I guess. And that came down to not having consistent work. And by that, I mean that my paintings weren't the same type every time. I, I would do like one style, one painting, and then move on to another style for another painting and a different style for another painting. And some would turn out good, right? Some of them looked cool or whatever. But, uh, you know, I realized that in doing that, I was actually kind of hurting my brand. And I was really just not helping myself to learn the intricacies of one technique. Right. So by jumping around to doing like a Pollock style painting and then like a poured painting and then a scraped painting and then, you know, some other painting, it uh, it made me realize that I wasn't I wasn't learning to become really good at that style of painting. And when I realized that, I was like, OK, what what do I want to do from this point on? And it came down to these scraped paintings, which I, I really enjoy. Like I love, I love the, the scrape, uh, like the feeling of scraping the paint against the canvas, kind of working it into it. And so, uh, and so I decided that that's the type of painting I was going to do pretty much from this point on. And it, it kind of freed me up because now I look at other artists and I and I used to look at other artists and get jealous of their work, right? I would think, wow, that, that artist, they know what they're doing or they've got like a good technique and, you know, why can't I do something good like that and all this other stuff? But, uh, you know, now, now that I know what it is that I'm trying to do or accomplish or the, the technique that I want to continue it made it easier because now I'm like okay well it's cool that all these other people are doing this but I'm not those people and I know what I want to do and I know what I like to do and it makes it easier because now I can just continue to to master this one style as opposed to trying to do all these different styles mildly well I want to do this one so well that I understand the intricacies of the tools that I use uh, and the the paint that I use and the method itself so I know how to achieve a certain look, right? So once I kind of understood that and that kind of sunk in, it made it a lot easier, right? So now I'm not chasing all these different things. So coming back to the year thing, the 2019 thing, um, yeah, I really just, the year has started off well because I have a new direction and I even have, you know, goals that I want to achieve this year outside of, you know, the art stuff. You know, I want to pay off a bunch of debts and I want to be able to, you know, move up in the company that I work at and I want to be able to, you know, just get some things in control in my life that aren't currently where I want them to be. And I know that if I can, if I can work on those things, even if I don't accomplish all of the things that I want to do this year, at least I have some goals and it feels good because last year I feel like it just kind of like, yeah, last year just happened, right? It wasn't, uh, it didn't happen the way that I wanted it to. It didn't happen. It didn't play out the way that I had asked for. So I think that that's really important to not just have resolutions, right? I'm not going to do this, but but goals rather, because a resolution is like, okay, I'll do this. And that's it. That's all you, that's all you say. But if you have a goal or, you know, if you set a goal and you're like, okay, I need to do this. Well, how are you going to do it? I'm going to do this, right? So it kind of gives you, it forces you to come up with 
a how, I suppose. And uh, I think that's I think that's very important. I believe in goals. I don't believe in setting like way way a lot of them. I don't believe in you know, getting super in depth and detail and you know being unrealistic about it. But I do think that you should set some and set some simple ones that you know that you can reach and, and a way to achieve those goals. And I think by doing that, you know, you allow yourself to to reach that success, right? Because you uh, and know where you're going and how you're going to get there. So that's why I say this year has been good so far for me. I mean, obviously, it's still young. We'll see. Uh, anything can happen. Um, but I, I think if it continues like this and I can start to get control over the things in my life that I want to control, um, then I think that it's going to be a pretty decent year. So I guess we'll see. But uh, this painting's almost done. This is basically the end point here. And it's funny because once I have the background of these scrape paintings to a certain point, then usually you'll see that I, I kind of end the painting the same way every time. I will pour the painting in the, on the one side and then just bring it across. And you see that it makes these clean lines like not a hundred percent clean, but clean enough, right? And uh, I mean that's pretty much it. So anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed listening to the sound of my voice, and uh, I hope that your year is going f well for you. I really do, and I want to hear from you in the comment section. So please leave a comment and tell me, you know, how it's going for you. And uh, if you like this video, you know. Like, rate, share, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in another video. And, uh, yeah, I don't have any more filler for you. So I guess I'll just let you go. Oh, yeah, I, I was just cleaning up the edges. Sorry. So just real quick, what I'm doing is there was paint on the edges. That was overlapping the front, so I'm just smoothing it out so that there's not big clumps of paint. So, now you know. Alright. Take care. See you guys.